we have cells A2 through A5 with our text. In column B, I want to find the length of the text. This is just going to be the count of the characters, which includes the spaces. So I will write equals LEN, left parentheses, reference cell A2, right parentheses, hit enter. And then I'll just have Excel do the autofill. So I have my first length. Um, it's easy to forget that as recently as six days ago. That length is 52 characters, which includes the spaces again, and also apostrophes and you know whatever punctuation. The next one is 100, 212, so on and so on. So that's a pretty standard formula that you've probably used before, just finding the length. Now let's look at the substitute formula. We're going to put this in column C, length with no spaces. Uh, for now, let's just write, actually this should be text with no spaces. So let's write equals substitute. And you'll notice that the first argument is the text to search. So we're going to write a2, that's the text we want to search, comma. Now we want to replace certain things in this text. That's the whole point of substituting one thing for another thing. We're going to take cell A2, which has our sentence. We're going to substitute every blank space. So you can, you can create a blank space by saying double quote, space, double quote. And the third argument is what you actually want to replace this what you're searching for in this cell. So we're searching A2, we're looking for all the spaces, and then we're replacing them with just an empty string, which is two double quotes right next to each other. So you have substitute, left parentheses, A2, comma, double quote, space, double quote, comma, and then two double quotes right next to each other. So instead we're saying, search this entire cell, replace all the spaces with an empty string, and then if I hit right parentheses and enter, do the autofill, and you'll see I just get the text of all the stuff in column A, but it's just going to be no spaces. And let me just word wrap this a little bit. Text wrapping wrap. And you can see how the text wrap, the words are basically, the sentence is basically just condensed down where there's no spaces, where you normally see spaces in between words. So that's pretty much a substitute formula. And on their own, the substitute function and the length function, they don't really do that much individually. But when you put them together, that's where you can do something much more powerful. Uh, you know, it's kind of the whole, the, uh, when you put them together, it's greater than the sum of its parts kind of thing, like one plus one equals three kind of concept. And let's see what happens when we put these things together. I'm going to change, undo all this right for now, and I'm going to look at length with no spaces. So what if I want to find the length of the text with no spaces? I can write equals length. Now I'm going to nest the substitute formula inside the length formula, substitute, and do the same thing I did before, substitute a2, comma, double quote, space, double quote, comma, two double quotes are next to each other, two right parentheses. And you'll notice that now I have the length of the text that has no spaces in it, which is obviously going to be less than the length of the text itself because we're moving all the spaces. So for my cell A2, I have, again, the text is, it's easy to forget that as recently as six days ago, the length of that text is 52. The length of the text with no spaces is 42. So if I want to get the number of words, I can just do equals B2 minus C, which is 52 minus 42 and I get the number 10. But if I look at the text, there aren't actually 10 words in the, in the text. So I've, it's easy for it to get. It's so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 words. And the reason is because there's one less space in the paragraph or sentence. So all I need to do is add a one, add a one to this formula drag this down. And now I have the count of words in my cell. So just to recap, you have the length of the text with the spaces minus the length of the text with no spaces plus one. You could also rewrite this to be a length of A2. I like seeing it this way because you can see kind of all the different components of the formula. If 
you look inside the cell, I have the length of A2 minus the length of the substitute of A2, removing all the spaces, plus 1. And so the answer here is instead of counting the actual number of words in the cell, you are counting the number of spaces in the cell and adding a 1 to it because the number of spaces is always one less than the actual number of words in the cell.